everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura today the recipe that we're gonna make are some uh, shortbread cookies real simple guys very few ingredients the first step is creaming our butter here I have three sticks of butter and our sugar and we're gonna cream this until light and fluffy <laughs> Alright, that went for a, for a little bit and it's real, it changes colors, it's nice and light now. So we know it's ready and we're going to start adding in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, we're going to add in our vanilla and we're going to give that a mix. Okay, okay, here I have my, uh, my flour and I am going to add my salt to the flour. Just give that a little bit of a mix and we're done. We're going to start adding our flour a little bit at a time, guys. Don't try to rush this because if you pour all the flour in at once, it's just going to get into a crumbly mess and it will not come together. So we want to do this slowly. So on a slow speed and add the flour a little bit at a time. Here we go. Okay. I'll just knock everything off and we are going to put this on the counter and form it into a disc. Let me just transfer you over to the counter. Alrighty, here's our dough and I'm going to pop it all out onto the counter. It's still a little crumbly, but that's what makes this cookie so delicious and flaky. Okay, we're just going to bring this together with our hands and all you do is press it together. Okay, I'm gonna get some saran wrap and lay it out here. And we're gonna put our dough in there. We're gonna try to shape it a little bit so that it makes it easier to roll. Okay, and this is it. We're gonna place this into the refrigerator for about an hour. You don't want it solid to where you can't roll it. You still want it a little bit soft to where you can roll it out and you won't have a mess, okay? But if we try to roll it out right now, it's just going to crumble apart and we're not going to get anywhere. Okay, guys, I'll be back after these are ready. Alrighty, the next step to the dough, as you can see, you know, it's pretty solid now. We're going to take it out. At this point, you have some choices. You can roll this out and use cookie cutters, or you can do what I like to do. And you can use a knife to trim this, or you can use a bench scraper just to cut it, whatever makes it easier on you. I like to cut this in half just to make it easier to handle. And then I cut this in half. Try to get them about the same size. Okay, and then I have my cookie sheets here ready. And I have them lined with the parchment paper. I have the oven at 350 degrees. And then you just slice them about a quarter inch. Then we just place them on our cookie sheet. You can make them smaller if you like or bigger, whatever you like. It's up to you. Okay, and then now what I do is I get my skewer and then we put the, the little holes. Okay, just like that. Put four little dots, four little holes in each cookie. All right, we're gonna pop these into a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Of course, everybody's oven is different. You check your oven just until they're lightly brown along the edges, okay? So I'll be back to show you what they look like. Okay guys, the cookies are done out of the oven and here they are. These are still very hot. These were the first ones that went in and as you saw, I only poked four holes. 
I would actually recommend six and the reason for the whole is that this is like a crust like cookie it helps with the baking so that you can get even baking all the way around okay so this is what it looks like I'm gonna pick one up and show you and they should be just golden brown just like that and they're very 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 crispy try to see if you can get those layers there look at that and they're so delicious so buttery oh my goodness they're just delicious okay guys that's gonna conclude the video for today I will have the recipe in the description box down below as always I have heard through the grapevine that YouTube is having a clean out and people who think that are subscribed to channels or not so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel the link is right there and if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up go check us out on Facebook and Instagram at virtual kitchen with Laura if you have any questions about the recipe leave them in the comments below and I will get back with you okay talk to you later bye